Hi, I'm Dan Howard with Envirospect of Western Pennsylvania, and I'd like to talk to you a moment about what happens when we do come to your home and test. Uh, one of the most important parts or features of what we do is look at the site conditions. And that's really important because there's a reason mold's growing there. You ran the experiment, the building in the shape it's in, with whether it be a leak or whether it be an interior fresh strain or drywall in the basement or whatever it is is sustaining the growth of mold. We want to interrupt that cycle because no matter what gets cleaned, it will be back if we don't identify and clear up that particular issue. To get there, we do a couple of things. One, we check for moist areas. This is a regular surface moisture meter. It tells me whenever we've reached a piece of wall, whether we can hear this beeping or not, but if your wall or wood or trim or anything's wet, it'll identify that for us. Second thing that we do is we take air samples uh, to determine the relative humidity and the temperature, both of which mat matter whenever we try to figure out the reason why mold's growing in an area. We want in most areas for the humidity to be below 50%. And then we may, in some instances, if we have visible mold on the wall, use what's called a swab test. This isn't really useful unless we have one of the wet molds, the molds that you hear about, Stachybotrys ketonia, the ones that will make you very ill because they throw or make very few spores. This is kind of like if you, this is the exact same swab that would be used if you had strep throat, um, which, by the way, you could tell with this if you swab the throat that you had strep throat but you can't tell whether there's an ear infection or sinus infection. And because of wanting to get a scope of everything that's going on, we air test. Air testing is pretty simple. We have a cassette here. This is an aerosol. These are designed to take large samples. The larger the sample, the better the uh, accuracy. There are some out there that are intended for low flow, low time, five minutes, five liters a minute. Um, but at 25 liters, the sample is so small that the accuracy goes way down. And what we do in our process, we have a timer that will give us a fixed time so all the samples can be prepared. We check the calibration on the pump. We check it for 10 liters a minute. We set up the air pump, set up the tubing, set up the place that's away from a body, up in the air to cool the sample. And again, we turn on the air pump and in 10 minutes it shuts off. We take this sample, it goes to the lab, and of course they identify the types and the amount of molds that are in the air floating that are captured on the slot. Pretty simple, but a very important process. This is how Envirospect of Western Pennsylvania tests in your home. We're happy to work for you. We've been spending 30 years dedicated to keeping people and homes healthy and safe. Dan Howard.